Hey Slick Review fans, coming at you with another video. Today we're checking out a very good value for money drop protection case for your iPhone 10 and 10s. If you are new to the channel, we do a lot of cool product reviews, so make sure to hit that subscribe button, but let's get started. All right, guys, so we're gonna get right into it and check out the box. Now, this is from my friends at Mabosi over on Amazon, and the link for this product is down in the description as always. So opening up the box here, right up top, we get a nice thank you card from them because they are a new startup and they do appreciate your business. You know, those other name brand companies, they have enough money already, so try to support small businesses. So that's a nice touch that they include that as well. Up top here, we have the case by itself. Let's set that off to the side for a second. And then underneath, we have an included glass screen protector. So we'll take both these out, get the packaging out of here for now. And first, let's look at the case itself. So it is a nice drop protection style case. We have a nice, pretty rigid, rubberized frame around the outside here, and a clear plastic back as well. So let's grab the iPhone and drop it on here just to see how it looks. So of course it fits great. Now what I do like is that there is a lip around the edge here so that if your phone should drop face down, you should be fine and you can even just set it down like that too, and it's going to keep it off the screen. Now of course you have access to everything else like you like, easy access to the mute switch, volume rockers, cutouts where they need to be, everything works great. Now what I also like is that it is raised enough to take care of the camera bump as well. So you shouldn't have a problem there. Now they did include this glass screen protector as well. So let's check this out and see what we get in here. Now this is kind of interesting. Let's set that off to the side for a second. Instructions, you know what to do with those. Okay, and here's all the other stuff. So it is just a glass screen protector. Now this kind of works out good because I have one on my phone. This is all I use is the glass ones. And the one I have on here is just a cheap one. And it's had a couple little dust bubbles from day one that I never really cared about enough. But we have this, so we may as well just do one right now. So what I like about this, it looks like you have to take the case off for this part. So we'll take that off and put that off to the side for a second. So it looks like what you do is this is what appears to be some sort of guide tool. Yeah, so that snaps on there, and then it looks like you just drop the glass in there. Now that's pretty cool. So I don't know if any of you know this, but I did a stint in a mobile wireless store, and I got real good at putting these glass screen protectors on. I mean, I'll, I'll just show off for a second. I mean, I, I pretty much nailed it putting it on the notch there. So they're not really hard if you know what you're doing. My secret is just find a reference point and just line that up before you drop it on and then don't force it just drop the glass on let the air kind of squeeze itself out is kind of how i got good at it but anyway we'll do one live so it looks like that's all of that stuff out of there so usually they give you a couple wet wipes some dust removers guide stickers all that stuff so let's get the old one off of here all right so that's the old one off set that off to the side. Now there shouldn't really be much on my screen because it was just covered, but just for fun because they give you this stuff anyway. So let's just grab this out. So you just want to make sure as best you can try to do this in as, as dust and lint free an environment as you can. Then these microfiber cloths are kind of a blessing and a curse. I mean they're good at getting the the wet wipe stuff off of there, but sometimes they leave their own dust particles behind, and even the smallest one can give you an air bubble. So you really wanna take your time, make sure that you get every little thing off of there. I've even used compressed air if you have any of those around. Just use those to give just a gentle blast to try to get as much of this stuff off of here as you can. So I'm gonna take a minute, guys, to get this cleaned off to where I'm comfortable putting another class on there. So I'm gonna take a minute and do that and we'll be right back. All right guys, so we're back. I think we're about as good as we're gonna get. So what I like to do, step one, here's some of my secrets for applying glass screen protectors. So if you don't have one of these, I think this is gonna make the job a lot easier. But if you don't have one of these, go to really any screen. I like to use something white, so I just go to Google. So you can see the notch and really try to line everything up right. And then again, just pick a reference point. So for these notch phones, I just kind of try to line that up the best you can, and then it usually kind of falls into place. But anyway, let's snap this over the top, like so. That seems to fit pretty good. 
And then, like I said, I think that's what they mean is just to just to do this. So let's let's get right into it. This is what we get for not reading instructions. All right. So here we go. Like I said, I think this is designed to just yeah just fall in place. Looks like we're lined up up top. All right. Let's drop it in. Okay. Looks like we're pretty lined up. And then just get the air bubble started here. And as you can see there, it kind of goes. So try to let it just do that the best you can. Usually it'll stop kind of at the edges and then you might have to help it a little bit. So there you have it guys, glass screen protector, flawless installation. That made it really easy. So again, I've always had to just do it eyeballing it. And like I said, I got pretty good at it when I was working in the mobile wireless store. But anyway, I never had one of these. You just, I just had to get good at it using these guide stickers. But anyway, getting back to this video. So these folks included this little thing that gives you a 10 out of 10 installation with really no effort. Like I said, I just popped this on there, just made it fit, just drop it in there and you're good to go. You get a 10 out of 10 installation. So that is really cool. And you get all of this for 13 bucks. I can't believe it. So now that we have the new glass screen protector on there, now I don't have any more dust particles or anything in mine. So altogether, pretty sweet setup. Like I said, good drop protection. I'm digging this styling on the back. I think these little cutouts and things are pretty cool. And then it has the plastic back so you can kind of show off some of that cool design of the iPhone and not cover it all up. Overall guys, I think this is a really awesome case. Good value for money. So guys, I really like this case. I'm kind of a case junkie. I have a box with about 20 plus cases and I kind of switch them out every day just according to what I'm feeling for the day. So anyway, like I said, I have a bunch and I think this one's going in my personal collection. I kind of dig it. I like the design on the back, it has the clear panel so you can see some of the iPhone in there. And then again, it just kind of looks cool in my opinion. And the value is pretty good for only 13 bucks. You get this case and they included the screen protector too. So I think that's really good value. And I actually really like what they did with the screen protector as well. I like that frame that makes that really easy to get a perfect fit. So like I said, pretty good drop protection. Like we said earlier, it's got front protection as well. And then on the back, it does protect the camera bump. So you're good to go. My question for you guys is what do you think about this? This is a great case, what I call a day one case. It's only 13 bucks right now. So you can get it, slap it on, keep your phone protected, and then later on if you find something else you really like then you can grab that later but it's an awesome case to pick up if you have a brand new phone so let me know what you guys think down in the comments but otherwise if you have any other comments or questions please do leave them down below i try to get to every single one find me on social media so you can stay in touch but most importantly guys hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos that's all i've got for you this time guys see you at the next one hey thanks for watching make sure to drop a comment down below and give the video a thumbs up here's some other videos that i think you'll really like Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. And I'm on Facebook and Twitter as well. See you at the next one.